Wake up, Rumi. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? Our next set of stories is about duality, light and darkness, good and evil, existing together. Stories that shine a light on the darkness of humanity. This first chapter is a classic urban legend about two roommates in college. Lisa and Amber were seniors living in the same on-campus apartment. They used to be a lot closer when they moved in together, but over the school year, their differences caused tension between them. Each girl was taking a different approach to how they were going to spend their last year in school. Lisa wanted to go to as many parties as she could, while Amber preferred to study and make sure her grades didn't slip. Over the first couple of months, Lisa would come stumbling back into their room very late at night, when Amber was already asleep. Lisa was usually pretty wasted and would turn the lights on to get ready for bed, which would then wake up Amber. This was a very annoying nightly habit that usually resulted in Amber being very cranky in the morning. However, she wasn't the confrontational type and let her anger bubble up inside her. The first semester was almost over and finals were coming up. One night, Amber was settling into study and Lisa was getting ready to go out, as usual. Before Lisa left, Amber snapped. If you're gonna come home late, can you not turn the light on? It always wakes me up and then I have a hard time falling back asleep. Oh, of course, I'm so sorry, Rumi. Is it just me or have we been drifting apart this year? No, you're right. Sorry, I've been sort of passive aggressive. Oh my God, not at all. Hey, why don't you come out with me tonight? Like old times. It's been so long since we've hung out. Thanks, but I have a final tomorrow morning. Maybe after finals? Okay, see you later, Rumi. It was around 3 a.m. when Lisa came back. Just as she was about to turn the lights on, she stopped herself. She looked over at Amber's bed, where she could vaguely make out the shape of Amber's sleeping figure. She must have been having quite a dream because she was moving around quite a bit. Lisa carefully changed into her pajamas in the dark and crept into bed. The next morning, Lisa woke up around 9 a.m. She was a little surprised that she was up before Amber, who was motionless in her bed. Lisa was proud of herself, knowing that she didn't wake up her roommate last night. She also knew that Amber had a very important test that morning, so she decided to wake her. Wake up, Rumi. Oh my god. Oh my god. When Lisa turned Amber over, she saw the blood-drenched sheets. Above the bed was a message, written in blood. Aren't, Aren't you glad, glad you didn't turn on the light? Like this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and our gaming channel, Slaytrix. Underneath this video, you'll find links to our merch. Let us know in the comments what types of products you'd like to see in the future. Do you have a scary story you're dying to share? Check out the description below for information on how to submit your spooky experience. And if you dare, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Until next time, sweet dreams.